Hi everyone, welcome and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm covering a topic that I've actually been asked a lot about lately. So I thought it's something that's worth raising here on the podcast. I think with more businesses online than ever before and so many businesses are screaming to try and make themselves, their business and their offer stand out. It's come to the forefront again because people are trying to find ways that they can be different. And what I'm talking about is the concept of a signature framework or a standout framework. So today we are talking about what is a standout framework or what is a signature framework? Do you need one? How is it going to work? How is it going to help you? And really, does your online business need it? So your signature framework or your standout framework we're talking about the same thing here it's being touted online as the solution the solution to an online business that is lacking in traction the solution to an online business that lacks traffic the solution to an online business that's not making any money but is it really the secret ingredient that everybody is missing let's start with some clarity first up around what this concept actually is because i am seeing it used far and wide online it seems like everybody has a standout or a signature framework right now and to be quite frank i'm not always seeing it used very well so a signature framework is a process that you create that is repeatable that's deliverable that you will use time and again to get results for your client. It is not niche specific. And at this point, I don't think I've ever seen a niche that couldn't use a signature framework. Done right, they actually do work very well. It can be great to give a clear process and some outcomes to your clients so they can really understand the journey that you're taking them on. But I have seen many online businesses just jump on the wagon of this framework recently and not always successfully. It's not just plucking a word and throwing it on some social media tiles and deciding you've got a framework. It is so much more than that. It's it's so much more than just putting a quirky acronym into your business. It needs to have purpose behind it. It has to have a reason to be. And like everything else in your business, you still need the right marketing. An amazing framework marketed poorly still will not build your business. It's not a quick fix. So why? Is a framework being talked about so much? And what do I think about it? Look, I think that a framework can be a really important part of a business if used in the right way and in the right business. Beyond what I've already said about how it can give your clients a clear pathway or a clear journey, and it can actually get them results, a framework can become a really integral part of your business and your USP, your unique selling proposition. A standout framework, it's not just about being different. It can actually help you to be really authentically you. It can help you to provide value to your clients and customers in a really unique way. And I've actually seen it help connect on a deeper level with your clients because you're both on the same wavelength. You both understand where you're heading. It also helps to bridge the marketing gap. And you know, I talk about the marketing gap quite a lot. We're trying to take potential clients on this journey with our marketing from where they are to being able to understand how they can work with us. So having a framework can allow you to grow your business without having to sit constantly on social media and using you know marketing tactics that don't really feel in alignment with you or your values. So it can actually build your business in a really authentic way that's full of integrity. So we like that. A standout framework also clearly shows your clients the process that you'll use and the results that they can expect to get from working with you. And you all know from everything I've already said on this podcast before, there is nothing more important in your marketing than sharing the solution and the transformation that they are going to receive. So these are all really great benefits for you as the business. The standout framework, it can assist your marketing. It can add authority and purpose to what you do. It is also great because it can be trademarked, meaning that your intellectual property is retained and it's safe. And thinking ahead also, a standout framework or a signature framework can actually become the cornerstone 
for you to sell your business one day. And it's actually going to be a business that's worth more because you haven't just built a business based on goodwill and happy clients. You've actually got a unique repeatable process that you can sell as the foundation of the business. So the person buying your business is buying a process, which can be very valuable. From a marketing perspective specifically, having a standout system framework can actually make your marketing more genuine and it can actually make it more memorable too. Being remembered is so important so people can come and work with us. So a framework can help you be remembered. Think about it. It's much easier to remember a word or an acronym than some expansive descriptive five or seven or 12 step process. And I have seen some of those lately. I saw a 12 step process on someone's social media. That was a lot of tiles on a carousel. We don't want to be doing that if we can help it. A great example that I think is quite a simple example is one that I use in my own business, in the marketing side of my business. And I call it the focus framework, which is how I teach my clients to create effective marketing. The F in focus stands for foundations, getting your foundations right in terms of your ideal client and your niche. O in focus stands for organic marketing and and maximizing organic channels for growth before you look at paid advertising. The C in focus relates to content and creating what I call a content first strategy. The U stands for your uniqueness and sharing your passion and your purpose and your why. And the S in focus stands for selling solutions, which you know from everything I've told you before is the key to generating sales in your business. I think you can see how now I've described that framework, that word that I use, focus, and its key concepts, how that's so much more memorable for your clients than just describing the elements. Your framework doesn't have to be an acronym like this either. Another framework that I use in my business is one that I call the three pillars of success, and I call that the triple M method. And the triple M method stands for marketing, monetization, and mindset which is about marketing, getting your marketing right. Monetization is building multiple revenue streams for long-term sustainable growth. And mindset relates to creating a CEO mindset so you can grow your business over the long term. Another example of a framework is from my naturopathic clinic days, and it was my gut recovery protocol. And I know a lot of you on my podcast are wellness entrepreneurs as well, so this might be of interest to you. So the framework I used in my gut recovery protocol, I called FIRM, and it was actually spelled F-E-R-M, and it stood for the four stages of gut healing that I took my clients through, foundation, elimination, repair, and maintenance. So you can see how that one particularly had two sides to it, because we were firming up the gut as well as it being an acronym. So you can have some fun with these. I love the creativity that you can have with some of these frameworks. Right now, you're probably thinking, Cass, how can I create a standout framework for my business? Well, it actually is simpler than you might think, but to get it right, it has to have a real purpose behind it. It has to have real meaning. You can't just pluck out any old word and think that will do. It's got to reflect what you do in business. It's got to reflect how you get results for your clients. Even if you work one-to-one and tailor every session to your client, I guarantee there is still a process you walk through with them because you have to start somewhere and you have to end up somewhere. So think about that journey. Where do you start with clients? Where do you lead them next? What is that end result you're working towards? That is what you have to build into your framework. You might also like to consider here your brand values, your passion, what drives you, the reason you do what you do. You can create a standout framework around any area of your business. It's just a matter of combining the elements with your expertise and crafting a framework that encapsulates that method that you use in your business. So let's boil this down into three simple steps that you can use right now to craft a framework for your business. Step one. Start with identifying the problem that you solve for somebody. Articulate this really clearly in just a few words and write that down. Step two, map out your unique solution. This becomes your framework. How do you get results for your clients? Emphasize the steps or the pillars of your approach. Find ways to make it memorable 
easy to understand and impactful. And this is where you'll be looking at it to decide, is there a word that encompasses it? Is it an acronym that it stands for? Is it something else like my triple M framework? It can be anything you want it to be, but it has to be underlying everything else. It has to be useful and has to be effective. And the last step of having a framework that works to grow your business is you need to communicate this framework and the stages throughout it within your marketing. And you need to embed this framework in every aspect of your business. It becomes something that your client outcomes are built on. It becomes something that your programs and your courses are built on. It flows through every area of your business. Now that you know how to create your framework, why would you want to? Well, look, I think I've already shared that I think it's a great idea for most businesses to have these frameworks if they are well thought out, if they have meaning behind them. So I do think it is well worth thinking about for your business. And I think truthfully that having a standout framework is vital for online businesses for a number of reasons. Firstly, the online space is so crowded. You know it's so crowded. We're all shouting to be heard. So it can really set you apart, having that framework that you can be known for. But it also does so much more. For you, it helps to give you some clarity in your marketing because you can be talking about not necessarily the steps in your framework, but the elements within those. For example, in my focus framework, the first element of that is getting clear on your foundations, your ideal client and your niche. And those that follow me on social media will see there's a lot of my content focused around getting your foundations right. I talk about organic media and using organic marketing. And you'll see that come through very heavily in my content as well. So you can see, although I'm not sharing the focus framework in its entirety, I'm sharing the elements within it in my marketing, because it's a really important way of how I do the work that I do. It also will help you attract the right clients because people will see it, they'll understand it more, they'll understand what you're about. So you'll be attracting more of those right clients. And when you have this framework in your back pocket when you're working with clients, it actually boosts your confidence because you know you have a proven path to help your clients get outcomes, to help your clients succeed. And it helps you get the same outstanding result client after client after client, reliable, repeatable. And that's exactly what you want it to be. And I think too, for those of us who are really focused on being authentic in business, I think having these frameworks can allow us to stay really true to who we are and our values and our purpose of running these businesses while we're also building our business and achieving the revenue and making the impact that we want to make. So as we wrap up today's episode, I want to remind you that A standout framework isn't just a marketing tool. It's more than a marketing tool. It becomes the foundation of your business. It becomes a cornerstone and it becomes translated into a form that your clients can see. It's client facing and they can understand. They can believe in it. They can follow the journey, but it becomes a cornerstone of your business as a whole and it helps you make your marketing easier. It helps you create programs and packages that make sense for your clients and it helps you attract the right clients as well, giving every single one of them amazing outcomes, amazing results. And what is the outcome of all of these things combined? you will build your business. And that's what you're here for. You're here to build a thriving business, create success on your own terms, whatever success looks like for you, whether you want a multi-million dollar business or you want the freedom lifestyle or something in between, that's what we're here for. So what I love about a framework above all of those points is I love the blend. It's a blend between strategy and creativity because for some of us, as much as we love strategy, we can get bogged down in the analytical and we need a little bit of creativity and a little bit of freedom. And I think a framework gives you that. It allows you to build your strategy into a fun, relatable framework. It lets you shine through and it lets your business and the helping that you do become known for the great work that you do. I've seen people online become well known for their frameworks and you can too. 
So think about how you could add a framework to your business. Does it make sense for you to add a signature framework or a standout framework? I would love to know. Thank you for joining me today. If you've found some value in this podcast, I'd love to know about it. Please feel free to leave a review. Make sure you subscribe as well and share this episode with your friends. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great week.